Hi, Dr. Ed Martin for Ivy Family Health Updates. And I want to spend some time talking about coffee, particularly the health effects of coffee, uh, beverage consumed by millions of Americans, including myself. Uh, it seems barely a month goes by, sometimes even a week, without some new information about the health effects of coffee. Uh, although studies in the past were complicated by a number of problems, and I think at times came up with bad information. Um, in the past, uh, the studies often looked at coffee drinkers and really didn't look at what other health behaviors some of these coffee drinkers had. For example, cigarette smoking. Heavy cigarette smokers are more likely to be heavy coffee drinkers. And so there was often an erroneous association between some of the health effects of coffee complicated by some of the health effects of cigarettes. The other issue is decaf versus regular coffee. Uh, some people may be consuming decaf coffee for health concerns, uh, but others may have really some significant health problems. And so again, uh, some of the literature uh, that looked at decaf versus caffeinated coffee uh, had this problem. The other issue is a cup. Typically studies ask, how many cups of coffee do you drink a day? There's a tremendous variation in cup size served uh, in uh, outlets across the country. Uh, also, metabolism of coffee differs between smokers and non-smokers, and cigarette smokers are more likely to metabolize caffeine more quickly and so may have different health effects. What I'm going to want to go over now is specifically some of the health benefits and health risks. The health benefits of coffee, uh, including a reduced risk of type 2 diabetes, the adult onset diabetes, Parkinson's disease, suicide, some reduction in the risk of colon cancer, and a reduced risk of liver disease, including cirrhosis and liver cancer, hepatic cancer. Uh, interestingly also, uh, coffee, and particularly the caffeine in coffee, has been found to be a performance-enhancing drug, uh, one of the few performance-enhancing drugs still legal uh, with the uh, International Olympic Committee. In terms of the health risks of coffee, an increased risk of Cardiovascular disease has been seen with coffee, particularly myocardial infarction, a heart attack, although the studies show that it tends to be those who are drinking large amounts of coffee, such as eight to 10 cups of coffee daily. In fact, uh, there was some evidence that moderate coffee drinkers even had a lower risk of heart disease uh, than those who drank no coffee. Uh, hypertension, uh, there's a slight uh, risk, at least uh, after one cup, uh, blood pressure can rise. But uh, with prolonged use, it seems minimal, although somebody with difficulty control hypertension, it's often recommended that they limit their use of caffeine. Then lastly, arrhythmias have not been associated with caffeine use, although certainly people who are symptomatic, such as complaining of palpitations following caffeine and coffee ingestion, uh, would be suggested that they avoid it. Osteoporosis and hip fracture. Uh, caffeine has been reported to decrease uh, the absorption of calcium. Uh, and so in addition to uh, increasing the intake of calcium and vitamin D, uh, patients at risk for osteoporosis and hip fracture were also advised to limit or eliminate coffee intake. Some of the maternal health issues that have been reported concerns with, with coffee use, uh, conception, sometimes a delay in conception. Uh, miscarriage has been reported, particularly with uh, high levels of, of coffee use and sometimes even with moderate uh, coffee use. Uh, as well as breastfeeding. Uh, caffeine can appear in breast milk within 15 minutes of, of taking it in. And so certainly if, if a woman is finding that uh, the baby is cranky, uh, difficulty sleeping, irritable, uh, it would certainly make sense to eliminate uh, caffeine use while breastfeeding. Gastrointestinal symptoms, heartburn, certainly uh, commonly known, and certainly if you have some of these problems that suffer from reflux disease or on medications for reflux disease, your physician has probably warned you to limit your coffee intake, and this actually goes for caffeinated as well as decaf coffee. So for those of us who drink coffee, uh, the news is good. For the most part, the health effects are beneficial. Well, that is very good news, because I know I love at least one or two cups of coffee a day, usually one in the morning and one in the afternoon. And I know a lot of people can't drink coffee in the afternoon because they say it keeps them awake at night, but not a problem for me. But I do have a question for you. Certainly on TV and in the movies, or even at parties, you hear people say, this person has had way too much to drink, give them some coffee, sober them up so they can drive home. And uh, what do you think about that? Well, clearly that's not the case. Uh, coffee will not make you more sober, it may make you more an alert drunk and awake drunk, uh, but it certainly is not beneficial. Okay, that's good to know. I have another question. Is there a difference in caffeine content 
between different uh, coffee products? Well, absolutely. Uh, sometimes, I mean, it seems counterintuitive, but sometimes the darker roasts have less caffeine than the more moderate or, or lighter roasts. But even in a single cup at a, at a single outlet, it's been found there's tremendous variation, even in the same coffee, from day to day, hour to hour, uh, as much as 100%. So in the morning, it might be 130 milligrams of caffeine. In the afternoon, 250 milligrams of caffeine. So there is tremendous variation. Do you find, as someone who deals with a lot of elderly patients, that they have a harder time with coffee as they get older? Well, to be honest, I can't drink coffee later in the day anymore. <laughs> as I've gotten older, I, I have to avoid it really after mid-afternoon. I know that's true of, of many. And certainly, uh, as, as we age, uh, many of us do tolerate some of the side effects of coffee uh, less well than we do when we were younger. Thank you, Ed.